lie, you guys. I don't know about you, but I love Mo Willems. He's an author and illustrator. He does Elephant and Piggy and um, Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. Well, today we are going to get to draw Pigeon. So go ahead and get your handy dandy marker, some paper, and maybe even some other handy dandy markers of colors because we're going to have to color them in and you know add schnazzy bedazzies, right? So first up, we need to draw one big circle. One big circle coming up. Go ahead and do it. Thumbs up when you're ready. Awesome. Thumbs up. Here we go, we have to draw two more circles. Here's circle number two, all right? Here we go, you're gonna make it a little bit smaller as you go in. Now, there's circle number two, go ahead and do that. Once you're done, give me some thumbs ups. It sort of looks like a hard boiled egg or, a, or like an olive. Thumbs up, ready, all right, circle number three. This one's gonna be a smidge bit smaller, okay you guys? And now you have to shade it in. So we're gonna shade a shade a shade up. Shade to shade a shade. Go ahead and do this, friends. Draw your third circle and shade it in once you're done. Use those fingers. All right. So we've got his head, his eye. We also need his beak. You're right. So here we go. We're gonna draw. A triangle one line up and then another line coming down go ahead and do it give me thumbs up once you're done thumbs up here we go next we need to add the neck for pigeon so we're gonna draw two lines coming down you know pigeons have long necks so make sure you make them pretty long all right next up we're gonna give him his white necklace or band it looks like he has so two lines going across go ahead and do that and then, are you ready, you guys? Here comes the piece de resistance. We are gonna hook his body like the letter J. You know how the letter J has a hook? Go ahead and see if you can do that with your pinky and make a J with it, with a hook, like Captain Hook. So here we go. We're gonna start, connect our marker with this line and give it a hook around. Go ahead and do that. Once you're done, give me thumbs up so I know that you're ready to go on. I'm so excited. I love this part. Here we go. I don't know about you, but I like to dot the lines. You don't have to if you've got a steady hand, but I like to dot them. So we're going to have to dot. Uh-oh, I need to draw this one a little bit further down. And then connect it all the way. Go for it. Dot or straight line, your preference. I like dots. It helps me. Here we go. We need the flappity flap flap the wing gonna hook it again and then give it a little line up all right guys now last part we need some legs so we're gonna draw two lines down and then we need to draw three little prongies for their feet one two three one two three you go ahead and do that once you're done, give me thumbs up. Nice job, you guys. So, da 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 da! Here's our pigeon. P I G E O N. Now remember, don't let pigeon drive the bus or get any hot dogs or any cookies, anything like that. He's always up to something. So, I'm gonna put the top on my marker. And then I'm going to decorate it really fast. It's totally up to you, too. So here we go. I'm going to do some dots. Ooh, I want to color in the little band. I'm going to make it look like he has a little heart-shaped necklace. Ooh, one last important thing. Hair, hello. I'm going to give him some spiky hair. So here is my pigeon, you guys. Enjoy it. I can't wait to see yours. Post your pictures. Share them with your teachers. I would love to see what your pigeons come out to look like. I'll see you soon. Bye.